malignant mesothelioma is a disease in which cancer cells are found in the thin layer of tissue that lines the chest cavity and covers the lungs or the thin layer of tissue that lines the abdomen and covers most of the organs in the abdomen. Many people with malignant mesothelioma have worked or lived in places where they inhaled or swallowed asbestos. After being exposed to asbestos, it can take years for malignant mesothelioma to form. According to the NIH's National Cancer Institute, possible signs of malignant mesothelioma include a shortness of breath and pain under the rib cage. Sometimes the cancer causes fluid to collect around the lung or in the abdomen. These symptoms may be caused by the fluid or malignant mesothelioma, although other conditions may also cause the same symptoms. The National Cancer Institute recommends people check with their doctor if they have any of the following problems. Trouble breathing, pain under the rib cage, pain or swelling in the abdomen, lumps in the abdomen, or weight loss for no known reason. Because of its fiber strength and heat resistance, asbestos has been used in a variety of manufactured goods and building construction materials in the past. Asbestos fibers may be released into the air by the disturbance of asbestos containing materials during product use, demolition work, building or home maintenance, repair, and remodeling activities. Exposure is most likely to occur when the asbestos containing material is disturbed or damaged in some way to release particles and fibers into the air. These fibers can then be inhaled by people in the area. Even people who live with a person that work near or with asbestos may be at increased risk for developing mesothelioma. In addition to causing mesothelioma, exposure to asbestos can cause lung cancer and asbestosis. These are just a few things to know about malignant mesothelioma and asbestos. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, health and safety, and environmental issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.